it's weird doing one of these in such a populated area. You don't know if there are people around you think just like giving you weird looks. I guess I'm not really a YouTube vlogger yet, ain't I? That said, uh, went to session today and um, I had a little bit to talk about given what was what we talked about at session with uh, Dr. Sum. And um, we kind of caught up on, it's been about a month since I've seen him because uh, of the trips to Japan and things of that nature. And uh, we talked about fear um, and, uh, and, you know, again, self-worth and, you know, my feeling like my self-worth is dependent on belonging. Uh, but that said, um, he himself said that he both, when I was telling him about, you know, I was talking with my mods my, a couple videos ago, I was talking to mods about, um, about why they wouldn't talk to me and why I didn't know anything about, you know, going forward with uh, change, making changes to my cast. And he's like, well, you know, you're, you carry yourself as, he said, you carry yourself as a very, you know, respectable person. People respect you, but they also fear you. And he's like, I even, me and I as in him, also respect and fear, you know, I fear you a bit. And he's like, like when you get passionate, you, you know, the, um, I get my mood changes. And I know people like, there are a lot of people that like that on Twitch, but at the same time, uh, he was he was talking about how many relationships that had kind of taken from him. Um, because he is sort of that way in another sense when it comes to sort of um, people's usage of words, because he has to be in it, so sort of a emotional sphere, as he called it, on a daily basis, since he is a, obviously, a life coach and psychologist. So, Thinking about it, about me, I, I, I've had this notion that people find me intimidating, and it's just a, it's, it's a feeling that nobody's ever told me in person, but I can't help but, like, I can't shake it. And I don't know, I, I'm trying to struggle with, like, grasping the fact that a lot of my success or lack of success or not being where I want to be could be obviously my own undoing just by the way that I carry myself. I've had, he asked me, you know, your mods, how, uh, you know, how are they different ages than you? You know, and I'm like, it's not really an age thing really when it comes to Twitch, it's more of an experience thing. A lot of us are coming out of college, a lot of us are coming out of you know, um, a job trying to do something else, and some of us are coming out of multi-year careers trying to make this something. And, you know, I carry all of that experience and all of that, all of that, uh, all of those experiences, all of that knowledge, and it, and it brings me passion. Whenever you look, if you see my Twitter, if you look at any of my talks, I'm always very, very passionate and sometimes very forward. I think it's the most the boldest I usually am is when I'm talking about things like design. But that can also be something that's brought into the, you know, the world of casting. And I'm not looking at this as like, oh, people fear me, then, you know, I gotta fix that. Or that's a bad thing. I'm trying to make sense of it as like, okay, if people do, um, well, one, I wish people would tell me about it. <laughs> Because I feel like I have lost relationships, but mainly just because I, you know, I left Twitch or things like that. But it could be based off of this. This is a completely valid thing. Um, and I don't know how to take. I don't know what to do. Because I feel like people that you know aren't seen as intimidating or fearful are people that are a lot more successful because people can bond with them. Um, it, if anything, it makes me even seem more niche because then now I'm a personality that's even more niche. And my game, the games I play are niche. So it's like I'm, it's like a zero sum game. Like everything I'm gonna try to do will just lead up evening out because, uh, you know, there, there's no, there's, there are no, there's nothing to move me forward. Uh, growth will be slow, things like that. Kind of rambling on here, but that's something that was just picking at me because it made it, when he said that, it made a lot of things make sense. When it comes to relationships in general, I think people find people. I think people are afraid of me, and I want to know what I can do to change that. Um, 
I don't know. And I think this is going to be a seri the next series of things that we're going to work on. I'm actually going to ask Dr. Sam about it next week. Because I know this feeling is not going to leave. I want to know why, what I can do. And uh, I mean, if you deal with this, let me know. I'd love to be able to talk to people that also kind of have these experiences and be able to share, you know, either the, the, that shared aloofness or that knowledge that, and coping with this. Um, Cause that's not the person that I want to be. I want to be able to be passionate, well-spoken, and, and not feared. So yeah, to be continued. <laughs>